Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wham Wadadapa, uh, presented by me, Hayley Gastmeyer. And I apologise for my lateness. I have a buddy joining me in the studio uh, to co host on this special day, March the 15th. Uh, a beautiful Friday outside, um, so I was sort of waiting for my buddy to turn up outside uh, to help him uh, find his way into the studio, but I sort of have given up on that and um, have sent him a text to explain where I am. So, I'm very sorry that I'm late. Uh, well, I will say thank you to Trust House for sponsoring this show. Uh, it's an event show that's on at 8am every Friday morning. 8am ish, I should say. And um, we've had some busy weeks of events in the last uh, few weeks um, with wings and that. And uh, yeah, today, uh, this weekend's um, no exception. We've got uh, quite a few exercise events, haven't we? There's um, Round the Vines, which is a fundraiser for um, Martinborough Primary School. And then there's also. Uh, uh, that big one, Relay for Life, for the Cancer Society. So that's going to be cool. I'll tell you about both of those events soon. Uh, now, I'll go through a few of the events that are happening locally. There's Colombo No Menu Night. This is at the Colombo Vineyard in Martinborough. So tonight from 5.30 till 9.30. You can head along, uh, kick off your weekend with Colombo No Menu Night. Uh, drinks are from 5.30 and dinner is served from 6. I've never actually, I've been invited to No Menu Night so many times by friends, but I've never been. So I don't actually know what No Menu Night means. I think, um, well, I'm just going to guess, I'd say you just turn up and the, whatever the food is, is the food that you get. You don't sort of select it off a menu. All right, so of course, uh, as uh, always, Stonehenge Aotearoa is open and a great thing to do if you've got guests or if you've never been before. Uh, actual size it is, apparently. Same size as the real Stonehenge. So it's open from 10 until 4, I believe, Wednesdays through to Sundays. Uh, adults $15, seniors $10, and primary and secondary students $5. Uh, door sales, uh, when you turn up, Every self-guided tour includes an 8-minute AV audio-visual video, I believe, uh, which takes uh, you on a tour around the hinge and explains everything, and then you get a map, and then you just take yourself uh, around, I guess, and explore. Uh, and you may return to the visitor centre as many times as you wish, wish to ask questions or to get assistance and then head back out around the hinge and you may take as many pictures uh, photographs as you wish uh, for your own private use so stonehenge a place to go hey there's a photography workshop happening at cape palliser this weekend uh, it kicks off today and it goes right through to Sunday. I think you need to register for this. You do. It's uh, eight hundred and eighty dollars, um, and I believe that includes, uh, you know, your um, food and accommodation and whatnot and the tuition. So join Ken Wright and Sean Barnett for a weekend coastal photography workshop shooting along the wild and dramatic coastline at Cape Palliser in Wairarapa to improve your coastal landscape and seascape photography. Uh, over this two-day workshop, Friday evening to Sunday evening, uh, you will learn to shoot a diverse range of subject matters including coastal landscapes, long exposure, seascapes and wildlife photography. During the weekend, we will shoot on a range of times of day, including sunrise and sunset, and in a variety of locations along the coastline, including the fishing village of Nawi, uh, Cape Palliser Lighthouse, and the Fur Seal Colony. Uh, topics covered coastal landscape photography, long exposure seascapes, wildlife photography and settings and composure. Um, so the price, as I said, it's $880. It includes two nights accommodation at the Lake Ferry Hotel. Uh, you get two full breakfasts, two packed lunches and tuition by Ken Wright and Sean Barnett. And you get a copy of Pocket Guide to Landscape Photography. So my, my buddy's turned up. We'll get him into the studio shortly. 
I'll just read a few more events and then we'll play um, more a tune. Uh, is every Friday there's the Featherston Worn Cloth Collective uh, at the Featherston Community Centre. It's every Friday from 10 until 2. Uh, it's a $4 koha on the door. You just turn up and uh, the Featherston Worn Cloth Collective is a drop-in workshop and community project making fun items from recycled clothes and fabric and learning new sewing skills. Uh, Sarah is the person to be in touch with if you want to know more about this event and her number is 027 And one more time, Sarah's number is 027 so that's the Featherston Worn Cloth Collective uh, at the Featherston Community Centre every Friday from 10 until 2. This is another Stonehenge event. I think it's a special one happening tomorrow night. It's storytelling guided tours of Stonehenge. So before I talked about your self-guided tour where you just took yourself around, this one is a guided tour. Uh, now... Basically, they'll um, take you through the hinge and um, relate to you the tales from antiquity that explain the rise of civilization and the origin of many of um, the beliefs. Uh, and private and group tours at any time are um, available in a, uh, by arrangement in advance. And uh, getting a guided tour is a little bit more expensive than just showing yourself around. It looks like adults are $28 and seniors are $22.50. Um, but primary and secondary school students are still just $5. So that's quite good. All right, it's 16 minutes past 8 now. Uh, and one more event before we uh, play some tunes. Uh, all Plants. Um, you can find All Plants at um, 71A Railroad Railway Road, Carterton. Uh, they'll be open tomorrow from 10.30 until 2. Obviously, it's free to get in. It's a store, I believe. Here we go. All Plants is a wholesale retail nursery open to the public, conveniently located halfway between Greytown and Carterton. Uh, it's located adjacent to Matarawa Railway Station, and there's lots of off-street parking. Uh, it was established in 2016. It's a family-owned and operated business with a proven track record for selling plants online healthy quality and competitively priced and they are now entering the retail market on a small scale opening the doors to the public with cash sales only at the stage and they specialize in varieties of native and exotic trees okay well I've got my friend Sam who's going to come into the studio very soon he's going to help me co-host my birthday show uh, I have got uh, on the turntable uh, one of my favourite tracks. It's called Young Folks. Enjoy. Things I did before Told you how I used to be 
just uh, cut that so that was Peter, Bjorn and John young folks, hope you enjoyed uh, now got my buddy in the studio with me, Sam yes you do, hello Hayley hi, how's it happy going? happy birthday thank you so much 
It's very uh, good to have you here in the studio with me this morning to help tell people what's going on around the region. Well, I did my best to turn up more or less on time. <laughs> you did just as good as me, really. Uh, so, Sam Tattersfield, you are from Wellington originally? Very much so. And you just moved to Wadarapa? That I have. So now I get to tell you what's on in Wadarapa. You do get to do that, but how have you found, how have you found the place? Oh, look, Hayley. The people are sunny, the people are sweet. The Tataroos are right on your doorstep. What more could you want? It's a pretty cool spot, eh? I'm from Wellington too, and I can't say I've really looked back since I've come here. I do enjoy going back over to get some mean feeds, you know, from Cuba Street, but uh, Wadarapa, yeah, you're right. Great people, good weather, beautiful scenery, and no traffic lights. And not really any traffic either, which I quite enjoy. It is a bit, bit easier driving around. It is. It reminds me a little bit of Christchurch. Not too many hills compared to Wellington. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yep. Yes. Well, uh, let's tell the peeps what's going on. Uh, I'll kick off by telling people about Carl Webley, and then you can pick up the next one, eh, Sam? Sounds good to me. Cool. All right, so Carl Webley is going to be at Colombo, which is the vineyard I spoke of uh, earlier. Uh, it's in Martinborough. So tomorrow um, from 3pm until 7, uh, 16th of March, it's a free event. Come on down to Colombo for a well-deserved post Round the Vines vino. Uh, the talented Mr Carl Webley will be playing from 3pm, uh, salad door will be open from 12, see you there. Uh, so that's um, so that looks like they're encouraging people who have done uh, around the vines to head um, to Colombo for some free entertainment. Um, oh, relay for life! You're going to tell us about that one. Well, uh, the White Upper Times Age has been covering the relay for life uh, quite a bit recently, so we can tell you that it's at the Clareville Showgrounds in Carterton, and you want to be there from 4 p.m. It'll take you right through to midnight. <laughs> I think it'll take you through to 8am the next day. I think probably. Probably it will do exactly that, uh, And that's why we check our facts. Um, we've also got the Featherston Weekly Market. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we need to talk about Relay for Life a little bit longer. Let's, let's go right So back. it's a fundraiser for the Cancer Society. And it's um, every two years they hold it. It's hosted around the whole country. And basically, uh, all the funds raised. So ba I think uh, you get into teams of up to 10 people or teams of 10, and you sort of choose your theme, whatever you want to dress up as. And you um, go out fundraising to raise money for the Cancer Society, which offers, you know, free support for people affected by cancer. Uh, so it's a, a great cause. And uh, it was launched, I think, in 2001. I believe that was the first time and and really so it happens around the whole country it's a, at a certain location and the groups of people um, just relay man relay hard um, and it's all about um, it's celebrating cancer survivors and it's about remembering um, people who have uh, lost loved ones to cancer which I would think would be everyone um, like I lost my grandma to breast cancer and um, I only found out um, recently from my mum that actually nearly all of my great grandparents uh, had it too um, yeah so awesome um, event really and for such a good cause yeah and uh, as you say it is through the night and that I've heard is to signify the never never sleeping nature of cancer yeah but it is a, a bit of a bit of fun it, it is really. To, it's to a nice time to solidarity, a uh, uh, march of solidarity, really. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good one, Sam. Um, Hit us with the next one. And then, as I erroneously said before, uh, we have the Featherston Weekly Market. That'll be in 33 Fitzherbert Street from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., provided this thing's right. Um, uh, that's true, because I go to that one quite often. And it's um, they got heaps of um, like fresh veggies and stuff, and they've got Scotty's Meats is often there serving up um, hot bacon buddies and whatnot. They've so a proper farmers market. It is really. It's quite a small scale one, uh, really. So that one's on a Saturday, and I'll just jump to um, another market that's on a Saturday. It's the Wadarapa Farmers Market, which is in Masterton. Have you been to that one, Sam? 
You live in Masterton, don't you? Ah, uh, you know what? I might have to go tomorrow. Yeah, you should go tomorrow. Um, I've actually never even been to this one. It's the biggest one that the Wairarapa holds, and it's um every uh, Saturday morning, I think from nine until one, and it's rain or shine. It's in outside the Farriers, um, which is a bar and restaurant. You know, North yeah, that's Queen Street. By by Queen Elizabeth Park. Yeah, exactly. Yep, and it's um in the undercover the car park, the sheltered area area in the car park. So um I think sometimes they've got my buddy Ross there selling his Primo beer. Um, I'll be sure to check that one out. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, he has it on key. It's it's awesome. You just walk, walk around the market having a really good beer um, while you buy your veggies, of course. Balance, you know. Um, Yin and yang. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good, good combo. And then um, we'll t- tell you about the other markets. There's also um, the organic market, which is in Featherston on a Saturday as well. That one's in um, that building that's um, recently been painted and done up. It's uh, on the railway tracks there. It's basically opposite the other market, which, by the way, is, um, as Sam said, I think it's 33 Fitzherbert Street, but it's behind the baker and it's behind um, the pharmacy there. So the other market across the road is the organic market, which has uh, lots of um, oils like hemp seed oil, flaxseed oil, olive oil, all made in Featherston uh, down Western Lake Road on the Cameron family farms. And uh, on a Sunday, there's two more markets that you can check out. There's the another market for you to check out on a Sunday is on the corner of Chapel and Essex Street, and it's the car boot sale. So people just rock up there and basically they're selling from their car boots. And uh, on a Sunday, there's, um, again, on a Sunday, there's the Carterton Farmer's Market, which is at Memorial Square. Yeah. I'm also seeing uh, the Greytown Country Market. Nice. That's on Sunday at 9am. And uh, I just heard on the radio, actually, that it's the last Greytown Country Market for the season. I think they only hold uh, the Greytown Country Market uh, during the summer, warmer months, I guess. And uh, so that's, is it Stellable Park, that one? That's the one. Yeah. And and a monthly one, as you say, I think just over summer. Yes, and I heard that there will be 40 stalls this time, and uh, they'll all be high qual, high quality. Or if European fairs more you think, there is the French Country Fair at Tohidaniko. Wow, there's so much going on. <laughs> so this is the... It'll be huge. That's on Saturday. We're going back to Saturday again. Good one. And so what time are we looking? Uh, that's 10am to 4pm. You think you've got to pay to get into that one, don't you? Does it have a price there? Uh, under 12s are free. Adults, you're going to have to pay 8 bucks to get it. Good one. So, so many markets uh, happening. Uh, I've got um, an event here. Um, it's Hillbilly to Hard Rock. Uh, and that this is a monthly um, open mic music gig uh, at St. James uh, Union Church on High Street uh, here in Masterton. It's on Saturday, so that's tomorrow uh, from 1.30 until 4.30. So every um, Saturday, uh, sorry, one Saturday a month by the looks of things, happening tomorrow, um, it's um, $5 for adults and $3 for teens and free for children. And so basically it's calling all musos and singers. uh, Welcome to the monthly Hillbilly to Hard Rock open mic series of events. This gig is different to the others um, because we don't mind if you perform hillbilly, hard rock, or anything in between. It sounds like you'll be getting a good variety if you head to this. So if you want to have a go, all you have to do is prepare some chord charts beforehand um, just so the resident um, backing band can um, assist you to um, very high standard. Um, write your name down on the whiteboard when you turn up and then you get up and perform when it's your turn and uh, depending on the number of uh, singers or musos um, you may get to perform one track or you may you, you might get to do multiple uh, songs and you can either turn up as a performer or you can just turn up and sit there and listen and be entertained as well uh, how are you are you musically inclined very musically inclined what are you you know I love my music um Used to be a drummer. Had an injury that we don't need to go into too much, but basically, left side not so good. 
drumming not so good, but uh, back in Wellington, still got a few musical projects going. Cool. So we've got to tell us about them. <laughs> I don't know if they're that broadcastable. I think one oh. is a play on words of uh, the the singer looks a wee bit like a gnome, and we're both into into our American philosophy. So we became Noam Chomsky, because how could we not be? <laughs> and uh, and so you, 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 you do gigs? Still getting into that. Yep. I unfortunately moved, well not unfortunately, but for that, moved to Wadarapa. I see, so, so you're sort still of still in the making one day, eh? Got to get into it here. But So you're a pretty good drummer, um, but a little bit, a bit of a setback there. A wee bit of a setback, but uh, I yeah, wasn't a terrible drummer prior to that. Yep. Good one. So you still, um, I guess, the setback uh, in a way, you're, you're very lucky, really. You're the man, Sam. Stoked to have you here. Um, so <laughs> Good to be here. Is it, are you able to, um, are you going to be able to sort of, thera- through therapy, get back into your drumming? You know? Yep, no, I do therapise using drumming. Yeah. So that's, like I've got a wee practice pad at home. So as to not annoy the neighbours too much or the flatmates, um, <laughs> and that just that just keeps all the muscle memory tight. Good on you. Cool, Sam. Beautiful. How about you? What's what's your musical repertoire? Oh, I love music, but I just can't do nothing. Um, my dad paid for. Oh, actually, so I did violin lessons when I was a kid, um, and I did it for two years, and I just really struggled to learn things for some reason and I just didn't really get too far with that and then my dad paid for me to do drum lessons when I was at high school and I really enjoyed that but once again like I sort of just quit before I I, I'm sort of like if I'm not real good at it to start with I just sort of quit got a short short attention span and not much patience for myself so I didn't get too far with that Um, I sing along to lots of songs um, in the car at home um, but my partner often tells me to be quiet so I don't know that I've got that knack Uh, (laughs) but I always crank in my tunes at home love music just unfortunately um, I can't um, I won't be getting up on a stage anytime soon well, fortunately, you're talented enough at radio broadcasting that you got good enough at that. You stuck it out. <laughs> yes, I think I might be. It's either two years or three years. Um, in April is when I started. I think this might be my third year. Um, re- mm, yeah, presenting the show. Maybe it's just my second. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Wow. I will tell people about this event at the Featherson Community Centre. It's um, Mahi Ranga Rang, uh, Raranga, sorry, Mahi Raranga, which is flax weaving. So um, it's tomorrow. It looks like it's every second, uh, no, uh, it's tomorrow um, and then on the 30th of March again and then there's, there's a few dates in May and June coming up. So it was $10 per class. Um, the tutor is um, Faya Edith. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. So $10 per class. Bring something to drink and eat to share. Uh, this class offers students the opportunity to learn um, about Raranga, which is weaving with flax. You will learn history and wararapa tikanga um, regarding mahi raranga and uh, responsibilities related to being kai taiki? Uh, oh, kaitiaki. I remember Liz Malish taught me that one. Uh, kaitiaki, which is guardian um, of um, harakiki and pa harakiki, which is flax and flax bushes. Uh, this knowledge uh, underpins the fundamental basic techniques of raranga, raranga and you will learn throughout the duration of the year. Or well, that you will learn throughout the duration of the year. So it's for beginners, it's open to men and women, it's 12 students maximum and uh, the what you pay covers resources including dyes, handouts, etc., but do bring something to eat and drink to share. So ten dollars, um, pay. Um, it says pay when when you get there. But then they've got that limitation on the numbers in the class. So I've got a phone number here for you to call. Um, Sophronia Smith is the number. Is the person you want to call? Her their number is uh, 
0203. So 027 543 That's if you are keen to learn about uh, Māori flax weaving. Now, Sam, I'm going to get you to um, read out some events while I chuck on another record, if that's okay. That sounds fantastic to me. Would you like the Tarador event? Do that. That's a great idea. So uh, you'll get to see, if you're in Dannybrook, you can get to see the Spinners and Weavers Annual Dye Day, which is an exhibition, so you don't need to do any spinning or weaving, if that's not your cup of tea. And that's at... 30 McPhee Street in Dannybrook from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and that's tomorrow. Then we have the day before St. Patrick's Day golf tournament and that's at the Pahiatua Golf Club. Tragically, tragically, it says play golf for a great, great cause but they do not go into any details about what the great cause is. So we'll keep you up to date on that one. Um, <clears throat> And then another cup day. That's on Sunday at the Woodville Races. Uh, Doing great there, Sam. That, again, being St. Paddy's Day, that'll be the theme. There's the prize of a diamond ring, um, and that's for the fashion in the fields. There'll also be games to keep the kids occupied, and a garden bar with food and things. Anything else on there, or is that is that all the events for Tarador uh, for this coming week? One, I'm trying to work out the when the 21st of March is. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's... Um, oh, yeah, that, that'll be next uh, week. Uh, no, that's still within the same week, I think. Yep. Yeah. Um, read, read that one out. So that one is again at Pahiatua. I think it's Thursday. 21st is Thursday. We'll call it Thursday. And that's the Pahiatua Tararua District Council, and they're providing free buses to get there. And you get to visit the uh, impound supply site. <laughs> Sometimes I find with the Tararua events, it's very good that they um, have that printout, but often it might be missing, like the location or the contact phone number. Well, that is at the eyesight, I can tell you that. All right, maybe go on to the eyesight to find out more, eh? The Pahia to our eyesight, I'm guessing. Sounds reasonable. Yeah. That's exactly the eyesight. The oh, Tadadua eyesight. Good one. People can Google that to find out where that is. So I'm going to play another tune. It's another one of my faves. Um, just because it's my day, I'm going to choose all the music, as I do every time. This is the XX. Um, and I think I've got it on a song called Heart Skips a Beat. So enjoy.
Okay, that was XX, um, but I had it flipped on the other side, so that song is actually called Nighttime. And we got Sam back in the house. Congratulations. Okay, have we got any more events to go through, or will we tell people about the weather? Nope, I can see another event happening on Sunday. It's at the St Andrew's Church Hall. It's called Alpha Course. Now, St Andrew's Church Hall, we're talking about um, the Martinborough uh, one uh, on Dublin Street. Okay, Alpha is a series of sessions exploring the Christian faith. Uh, each uh, talk looks at a different question around faith and is designed to create conversation. Uh, Alpha is run all around the globe and everyone's welcome to come along. It uh, runs in cafes, uh, churches, universities, homes, you name it. Uh, no two Alphas look the same, but generally they have three key things in common. Uh, food, um, a talk and a good conversation. Okay, so if you are keen to head along um, for this Alpha series, then you can head to St. Andrew's Church Hall, uh, Dublin Street, Martinborough, on Sunday. It's uh, running, it says it's running from 9.30 until 4 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then it says tickets are no longer available, but I didn't really... Mm, don't know if you needed a ticket to go to church, but anyhow, you guys can look into that if you're keen. Uh, can you see, we're going to have some live music at Margraine Vineyard on Sunday. Who is up this week? Uh, Margraine Vineyard, by the way, is in Martinborough. And th during the warmer months, they've got free entertainment from 2pm on Sundays. And this uh, coming Sunday will be the 17th of March. And it's Courtney Nyra who will be performing. So head along to that if you are keen for some good sounds and some wine. What can you see, Sam? Anything? I had seen that one, but I wondered, because we'd already done one or two wine events. Yeah. Well, basically, I'm, we just tell everyone everything that's going on, and then everyone's got all the information. And we are lucky to have a sweet wine town like Martinborough right on the front door. So lucky. So too lucky. Good. It is too good. Um, there's a Monday meal deal happening on Monday at the screening room. Uh, what's this about? It's uh, $39 per person, and I believe you get to go to a movie, and you also get a meal, and either a non-alcoholic drink or something scrummy from the cabinet. Something sweet, I'm assuming. So $39 for a movie and a meal. That's every Monday at the screening room in Kotapuni. $39, and it starts at, well, it runs from 5pm until 11. So I guess you can sort of pick which movie you want to go to in between those times. And um, the Featherston Wahine Singers, that is, I'm um, guessing, a female choir. You can meet at the Featherston Community Centre if you want to get involved on Tuesday nights. It runs from 7 until 8.30. Well, the practice runs from 7 um, until 8.30 every Tuesday. So adults only, it says. It's a $3 koha to take part. And if you want to uh, get involved um, and join the choir, then uh, you can call Susan. Susan Mitchell. Susan Mitchell, her number is 021 246 4884. So that's 021-246-4884. And on my list, I've only got one thing left to read out. What about you, Sam? Have you got that same thing? Uh, if we're talking about art for everyone, or I've also got the Club Whited Upper Rockers, where you get to learn to rock. Ooh. And that's next Wednesday. Yep, cool. Tell us about that. I can tell you that that's on uh, 20 Essex Street in Macedon. And that's for just beginners. It looks like we're learning rock dance moves. And beginners are at 6pm, intermediate 7.15. And that seems to be more or less every Wednesday because they're telling us that there's an, a Christmas and holidays breaks. Perfect. Good to know. So if you want to get into your rock and roll dancing, have you participated in that before? I personally have not. Well, I have... I have participated in rock and roll dancing, but not in a formal way and not in what it up yet. <laughs> well, you might have to head along. Always time for a new thing. Yeah, correct. Um, tell us about art for everyone. 
Uh, one would presume that it's a fairly inclusive event. <laughs> That's on next Tuesday by the looks of it. That's 7 p.m. It's That one's every Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the Featherston Community Centre. That would be most Tuesdays then. Uh, I believe it's every Tuesday, yeah. And the contact for that is a Sandy Fletcher on 021574909. And if you are keen on art but you can't get to that 7pm class on a Tuesday in Featherston, well there is one earlier in the day at the same place, Featherston Community Centre, at 10am every Tuesday. And this one is run by uh, Julie uh, O'Neill, Julia O'Neill, and her number is um, 308 8977 308 8977 uh, she says let art heal heal you and help you clear your mind and it's an opportunity to meet new friends uh, in this weekly class at the Featherson Community Centre they mostly um, the group mostly works with acrylics so um, Julia she runs uh, Tuesday community art class 10am uh, at the Featherson Community Centre and that is every Tuesday Cool, and it's a $2 koha, by the way, and I think it was a $2 koha for the uh, art for everyone as well. I'm going to tell people what the weather is happening, or what the weather will be looking like today and for the weekend. Uh, what have you got planned for the weekend, Sam? Great question. I'm going to check out some art galleries, I think, on Saturday. In Wadadapa? In Wadadapa, yep. Get, get a flavour of the town's art scene. Awesome, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, should be good fun. It should be. <laughs> so we're looking at a high today of 27 degrees. Uh, right now it's 18 degrees outside. Uh, and uh, what's in store for Wadadapa is uh, morning cloud and then fine. And uh, cloud will be returning in the evening. And there'll be some north easterlies. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday the 16th of March, uh, when everyone will be getting their running shoes off and either running through the vines or gearing up for relay. Uh, tomorrow uh, morning, uh, cloud, then fine with northerlies. Uh, cloud returning late afternoon, ahead of rain with a southerly change late in the evening. Oh, fingers crossed it sort of keeps fine out there though. 25 degrees tomorrow. And then on Sunday we've got a high of 20, uh, often cloudy, occasional rain or uh, drizzle for a time, and uh, southerlies dying out. Let's uh, quickly look at Taradua, uh, Taradua Forest Park today. Cloudy, morning drizzle in the west, and then a few showers, and northwesterlies rising to gale in the evening. And tomorrow in uh, Taradua Forest Park uh, it's cloudy um, with drizzle, uh, in the west before widespread rain late evening and gale northwesterlies easing in the afternoon. Uh, yeah, so I guess the weather's not looking too bad for the weekend. Okay, well, you've been listening to Wham! What's happening around my Wadadapa with me, Hayley Gassmeyer, and... Me, Sam Tattersfield. No. Just this once. Sir. You're not coming back? Maybe. I thought this was a special treat for your birthday. <laughs> it is a, it's such a special treat having you here. But it has been a treat for me. <laughs> Good, even though you're a little you got a, you did very well. I can't tell that you're nervous. Never, Haley. <laughs> yeah, so thank you everyone for tuning in and um, also Trust House, thank you for sponsoring the show. I hope everyone has a fantastic March fifteenth. I hope everyone has a great Friday and has a good weekend and a safe and um, enjoyable week next week and uh, we'll be back in the studio, well at least I will be, uh, next Friday morning at 8am and until then take care and uh, yeah, catch you later